fact that his opponent was on the bottom side of the map, was low on mana there as he was clearing out the crab, but the crab gave him back about 75%, so Rush is still in fighting shape. And he he sees the Gronk is the gone, brush. so now he's trying to track. Where was the enemy jungler? There he is! There we go, there's your EQ combo with the ward over the wall. Rush looking to chase after him now, gets out of the way of the chains, flash over the wall from both, as here comes your follow-up, and Solo is able to claim first blood there on the Vladimir. The vision comes in. Someday is likely going to be taken down now as well, and Rush makes it a two for zero. Man. Early lane phase and how you can punish that, but when he gets to make a play like this and grab first blood, it alleviates some of it. Yeah, they know uh, nowhere else for him to be. Rush is able to find him. No hesitation on the flash. Solo even coming very quickly afterwards. Blocks that Q. So that means Rush can stick around for the second kill and cash in himself. No, Zaya's no slouch herself, but... Uh, this is going to be the game plan as they flash in. Apollo could be in some trouble here, having a flash out, getting himself away for now. Still looking to see oh. if Hunter Thieves can make the play, but the hook will not find the yeah. mark. Take probably, a while to kill him. probably not going to find too much success here with that one, but we may see this break out. River. Three versus two. It's Rush going in with the flash of the EQ combo. Looking to find Anda. He's got him trapped in the Cataclysm as Hawkwell has made his way into the fight now as well, using the quickness to get the charm into the CC oh. and the damage. And Phoenix coming Whoops. together at the last possible moment right before playoffs to make a last minute run. The 11th hour superpower might be real here for the Echo Fox squad Get to get back. Dropping the Hemo Plague for a better trade. Apollo having a flash uh -oh. and ulti to get himself away. Bang looking to still maybe find the damage. Has to be yoinked back to safety by the power of the lantern. That's where you're going to find your victories. The ideal League of Legends team all looks like it's played by one guy on five different computers. But right now, Echo Fox is trying to find the collapse here on the bottom side. Round. Looks like they won't. Hurts to give away two mountains, but at the same time, you also don't want to be going into something haphazardly. Dragon's already going to be secured. Hawk into the back line, looking to maybe find Bang. Saligo already going to be putting himself in the ultimate now. And on the front line, World Ender going to be keeping him alive. Solo trying to get himself away. Will be surviving for now. Resurrection for Anda, but he's going to be pulled to safety by Afro Move. It's right been now. dark for so long. It's real dark over in that part of the map. Anda's finally heading over. He's got the Baird sniper Baird down. Full of terror. Hey, a big Baird. risk here. Okay, 100 Thieves going for someone on top side. They should be able to get him. 100 Thieves want to go after Phoenix here, who does have that stasis to keep himself alive. Not going to pop anything else. Doesn't want to waste any resources. And allow Bang uh, to take over a team fight. That is how they can find victory here, even in the jaws of defeat. Might get Phoenix again. Bang gonna be taking some damage. Has to be pulled to safety there by Aphromoo, and now it's 100 Thieves who end up losing their own mid laner. Echo Fox calling the cavalry just in time. Echo we'll Fox. pose the question. 100 Thieves have to see if they can defend this here. Echo Fox bringing everybody up into the top side, and in some trouble goes into the world, and they're gonna be resurrected here immediately, but will he just get brought down yet again? Solo going in, the Tides of Blood will wash them all away! And it's Stasis forced out for the side, 100 Thieves, a double kill over to Solo, and Echo Fox have found their fight! This will surely be the first 2-0 weekend for this team! Sometimes in situations like this, I don't even risk it at any of the epic monsters. You already have two inhibitors down, and I go right back into the base. Here's another look at the uh, all-in dive from Echo Fox here. And as you said, Solo on the Vladimir. Remember, he got the early kill, has some farm in the side lane. Giant AoE is able to take them down. That hook at the end does uh, put an end to the push by killing off the Vladimir, though. So that was very And now getting himself back in time for this fight. Will be a full 5v5 if Echo Fox decide to force it, but 100 Thieves is really separated. Solo trying to find some damage there. Someday putting some DPS down onto him. Rush having to jump back now, and they've already killed Bang! That's your cannon immediately out of the fight. Saligo into the stasis is going to quickly be brought down now. The remaining thieves will head for the fountain, but Echo Fox with a 2-0 will likely just push everything in here. Solo still on the front line with this Vladimir. Echo Fox pushing in as a five-man unit. Rush into the back line. Someday thrown up into the air. Cataclysm brought down. There's the tomato soup I'm talking about. <laughs> and that is not what 100 Thieves ordered. Echo Fox puts a double kill over to Apollo. And this will be that 2-0 weekend. And this will be Echo Fox taking the win. Rush comes back, and Echo Fox with the 2-0 weekend for themselves. First one here. Very, very happy about that. The hope is still alive for them for playoffs. Yes, it is. This split has been so contested that there is still a lot of room to move around.
And you said it yourself, could this be the surge at that final moment in the split to really make the push when it counts? If you're an Echo Fox fan, you're starting to get excited because this could really happen here for this team. The clump has been so close for so many weeks now, and if you can pick up these wins here at the very end, that could be exactly what they need to push through. And now that they're on the same page, especially with Rush, who I really want to commend, started off People were hyped up for this guy at the beginning of the split, had some shaky performances, went into Academy, Panda was subbed in, that wasn't the answer, Rush is back now, and it seems like he's on much better communicative terms with the team. Definitely looking a lot better here today for Echo Fox. And as you said, only one more week of the regular split to play. Let's see who does, in fact.